This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another home edition of the Sunday Business Page. Our special guest this morning is Jason Locks, who is a financial advisor with the Synergy Group. Jason, thank you so much for joining me this Sunday morning. Great to be here with you, John. I thought it would be good to have an expert such as yourself help us to understand what it means to have a new president coming in in January with respect to our personal finances. I will say that the stock market seems to like the idea of Joe Biden as president and a Republican Senate. It's been going gangbusters. Uh, can you help us understand what's going on here? Yeah, I think, and I think that's not 100% uh, set yet, but you are right. The markets are enjoying uh, the moderate, the moderate uh, Joe Biden in terms of his, the prospects of him leading this country as well as the Republican Senate. Uh, these Georgia runoffs will have something to say about that as well. But assuming that those go as expected, I think that the, the stock market in terms of digesting this likes the fact that there will be more checks and balances in place. Uh, the markets tend to do better under a divided government. And that means good news for our 401ks and our retirement plans? Absolutely. I think we can expect more stability uh, through the upcoming years. And I think that our 401ks uh, will have the stability and growth opportunity that we're looking for because of, the, because of this. Well, let me ask you, Jason, then about the uh, taxes and spending under a Biden administration with the Congress making the assumption, and you're quite right, we don't know exactly what Georgia is going to do, but the expectation is the Republicans will keep control of the US Senate. Um, President-elect Biden has basically said, no new taxes if you make under $400,000, but if you make over $400,000, you could expect a boost in taxes. Um, but it's not clear the U.S. Senate would go along with that. Do you see any real changes in tax policy going forward? Well, again, going under the assumption, John, that the Republicans will still control the Senate, I think it'll be very difficult to do anything drastic on in, within the tax scene. Uh, I do think there will be opportunity to work together across the aisle more, especially with uh, the House of Representatives with less of a majority there. I think we will see more cooperation so there may be some slight tax revisions, but I don't think anything too aggressive uh, in terms of change. What about Social Security and Medicare? We know that those systems need some help. Yes, I, I think that, you know, understanding that those are mostly funded with payroll tax, uh, I think that we will see changes in terms of payroll tax be on the table uh, to try to shore up those programs. And I think that's something that we may expect for higher wage earners uh, in terms of a, a compromised agreement. We only have about a minute left. What would you recommend for the average person out there with respect to their own investments? Should they be doing something now or, or is it just uh, do the hunker down? Well, I think hunker down is probably the right term. Uh, but at the same time, if you haven't stepped forward to put a plan together, you know, if your saving is just kind of a stack of statements, if you will, and not an organized plan, it's a great time to reassess your risk and, and have a financial plan put together that will withstand any type of market or any type of political administration. And then let me uh, take the last 30 seconds and ask you, does COVID, this pandemic, we see light at the end of the tunnel? Maybe, but maybe worse is ahead. Does that have any impact at all on our financial situations? I think the thing to keep an eye on is I think everybody politically is agreeing that we want to try to not go to complete shutdown. I think a complete shutdown would have a big impact on our economy, yet we still need to control the virus. So I think we need to watch uh, the actions very closely. Uh, I don't expect a, a full shutdown, but there could be another impact because the winter, uh, you know, looking at cases, certainly there is some concern. But yes, again, optimistically, there's light at the end of that tunnel. Well, thank you so much, Jason Locks, Financial Advisor, Synergy Group, for being with us today. I really appreciate your insight. Yeah, great to be with you again, John. You stay safe and healthy. And thank you for watching us on this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.